Welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today we are facing some unique weather conditions down here in South Carolina. It is sunny, or it was sunny a second ago. It's 75 and hot and humid. It is a rare day down here in the middle of winter, uh, beginning of January, so I'm not complaining. Let's me break out the short sleeve shirt, break out the shorts. Ooh, check out that white lightning. Yeah, I know y'all wanna see that. For sure, a wonderful day out here, and it was really cold about like a week, week and a half ago, so all these fish were holding deep, but now the water's warmed up, so hopefully these fish are gonna start to rise up in the water column and I'm just gonna target some like flats that are kind of near some deeper sections hopefully these fish have moved off those deep sections and are a little higher up in the water column and just be throwing search baits rattle traps underspins spinner baits stuff like that I've already seen a few fish roll exactly where I thought they might be like right when I got out here so we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what we can do hopefully we can catch us a solid solid bag today let's go get them rocking the underspin just a little vmc underspin half ounce i got a little kytex swim bait on there should do the trick four and a half inches i've already seen these fish rolling over here there's a flat uh, right in this section like kind of adjacent to a deeper area so hopefully these fish are up here hanging out on this spot i've been seeing them roll they kind of like to move around in here it's a shad pond for the majority of it I mean that's pretty much the main forage in here so they're pretty actively chasing shad as long as the shad are active so they kind of just move around so we're just gonna throw search baits and hopefully we'll get on top of a little school and just pound them out there we go fish on first one doesn't feel very big. Oh, he's, he's decent. He's decent. Not a bad one. Solid start though. Didn't hit it very hard. Let's just give him a second. Let him calm down. And we got him in the boat. Yeah, there we go. Solid start. Perfect hook set right there. Top of the mouth. Beautiful fish. He's dark. He's been hanging out deep, but he's moving up now. Weather's warming up. Popped him off that little spot right there. All right, buddy. Get you back in the water. Adios. There we go. Another one. Oh, this one's taking off. This one is taking off. Pulling a lot better. I don't know how much better a fish it is though. Oh no, he spat it. Dang. I saw the fish though. Honestly, about the same size. That was weird. That fish fought way harder. Oh, dang. Oh no, we're on. We're on. What? That was weird. That was very interesting. I think I might have just got hit twice. Throw it back in there, see if we can't get some collateral damage. There we go. There we go. Yes, sir. Fish on. Stuck him. Get up here, buddy. About the same size as the first one, another solid, healthy fish. Slowed it down for him a little bit. As soon as I'll, oh, are we, how's he, how's he hooked? Oh, God, it's wrapped around his gill, that's what. That was weird. There we go, a nice, chunky winter three pounder. But what I was trying to say, what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah, the uh, weather. As soon as I got out here, it was sunny and hot, and as soon as I put the boat in the water and start talking to the camera, this cold front starts to blow through here. We got some colder weather, some wind, some storm clouds, and uh, the top water action that I was seeing kind of disappeared. These fish seem to be bunkering down for the storm that's about to roll through here. But a nice, healthy three pounder. Get him back in there. On to the next. Put some new line on here today. It's like the difference between wiping with cardboard and Charmin Ultra Soft. 
but a huge difference. Got that nice long cast now. This line has been was crusty. I mean, it was crusty. There we go. Fish on. Yes, sir. Come on in here. Uh, another decent one. A little bit smaller than the first two. Come in here, sport. Oh, he's got some tug to him. Oh, you know, he ain't that small. He, ain't, he is not that small. Oh, pretty fish. Look at him. He is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that hook set right on the top of the roof. Just where you want it. This fish was absolutely gorgeous. I had to bring out the big hammer to get y'all a better look at these colors. I mean, look at that. Wow. Just so green, beautiful fish. There's something about catching a fish that's just like, has great coloring that gets me really excited. I don't know if that's just me personally, but I get really hyped up for it. So we're gonna go ahead and get a good release on this and get her back in the water. Go on in, pretty girl. There's one. There we go. Stay down, stay down. Another solid fish, all about the same size. High twos, mid threes. Another solid little fish. I'm looking for one a little bit more sizable, but I can't complain with these guys. Dancing for me a little bit. There it is. Pretty fish. Looking for some more size though. Definitely, definitely want one more. Uh, definitely want one. God, I can't talk. Definitely want one in the four to five plus range. We're working on it. The one I got off earlier that was really tugging might have been there. That's unfortunate though. It got off. Typical. Oh, got one. <laughs> Didn't even feel that hit. Oh. It's a little smaller one. I want to go up. Small is not the way I was hoping we'd go with this fish. He's small, but he's fat. Kind of looks like Kelvin Benjamin. Little fat guy. Get in there. Oh, God. That was not gracious at all. There we go. There we go, another little fish. Same size, they are all this size. This is bizarre. They have pretty much all been pretty much right around three pounds. Oh, a little acrobat. That's new. He is, he's definitely got the, the most oomph out of all these fish so far. Come in here, bud. Nice fat fish right there. Healthy, healthy, healthy fish in here. Absolute beautiful fish. Short and stocky, but great fighter. There's one. There we go. Oh. Came up for a little air action. Probably the smallest one of the day. He's got some fight in him, though. Come in here, buddy. And in the boat. God, these fish are fat. I mean, just look at the belly on that fish. I mean, this is a short fish. This fish would probably be, I don't know, two pounds all day. But with that gut, it's pushing three. Let's get it on the scale. I just want to see. Out of curiosity. My best guess is... Is right around three. Dang, on the scale, right at three. And this fish is definitely one of the smaller ones we've caught today, so maybe some of these fish have been pushing for. It's just been a minute since I've been out in the water fishing a lot. Good fish. I thought these fish were gonna want a more aggressive retrieve today, but I slowed it down. At first I was fishing like fairly fast, 
But I started to slow it down, just kind of slow roll it on the bottom versus like higher up in the water column. And I've been getting a lot more bites since I started to do that, which is weird. I thought they'd be more towards the surface, or at least they were when I got here. I mean, to be honest, like I was like setting up the camera stuff and they were rolling all the way around me. I was like itching to just throw a line in because I figured they'd be uh, popping off as soon as I got one in. But uh, that storm came in and kind of scared them off, I guess, or pushed them down deeper. So, I don't know, that's fishing for you, you just, you never know. Oh, there's one. I was gonna say, you do your best to make your best judgment on what the fish are gonna be doing, but sometimes they surprise you. Oh. Like this guy was held up right on the edge of the bank. I just don't know why I decided to cast there, but Figured I'd go for it, and he was right up on the edge. Another mid two, high two, fats fish. Healthy. Oh. I think I hear the sound of rain rolling in from the north over here. Oh yeah, oh God, here it comes. Oh, gotta pack up the camera stuff. Don't you just love it when the rain ruins all the fun? Just fantastic. But anyways, it was a great day of fishing. Definitely had a blast out there. The bite was on fire. They were smashing the underspin. And that is just like literally one of my favorite ways to fish personally. I have a ton of enjoyment fishing the underspin. But anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. And if you did, drop me a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. As always, Bassin is the passion. Peace out.